We are ready to weigh anchor here at Government Bay North in the Leshino Islands. And we're going to take a little trip through uh, Cedarville and uh, Hessel through the channels in here. And it is just a gorgeous morning. It reminds me so much of the North Channel. I don't know about you, Rev, but yeah. woke up this morning and looked out there and just kind of, even though we couldn't go to Canada, it just seems like a little bit of Canada here. So. Um, we're going to get that anchor up and get on our way and head over to St. Ignis. It's a total of about 25 miles, so we should be there before noon. We woke up this morning and there are tiny, tiny little flying bugs. Continuing our Bugs on the Loop series. That's gross. Sam had to go out there to do a few things, so that was fun with all the swarming bugs around. All part of the experience. We're leaving our anchorage here at Government Bay North. And when I brought up the anchor, there was, well, we, on the snubber, there were these green slimy worm things. And then the anchor was in good, good clay. So I'm gonna continue to wash that off. But it's a beautiful morning here in this anchorage. These markers are very close together. We're taking the scenic route. You think he'd consider slowing down? <laughs> We are maneuvering through uh, some very narrow channels here with an average depth of about nine feet. So we're just taking it slow and cross-checking it. What I had to do was break the Navionics route up into three sections because if I were going direct from Government Bay to St. Ignace, it would take me back out the way that I did, the short way. So I had to build a couple mini routes in there and let it do automatic. So it, some point I'll have to be switching off to the uh, second portion of the route, but it's a beautiful day out here. We are coming up on Viking Boat Harbor. Um, we're kind of going between Cedarville and Hessel to see some of the scenery out here. About mid-August uh, each year, or early August, it's a uh, wooden or antique boat show out here, and so this place will just be populated and I imagine doing this skinny, narrow route on a weekend would be kind of crazy. So kind of glad we're doing it in the middle of the week. Sam wanted to go this way for the scenery. And we have seen a lot of beautiful homes along the way. However, I have been fighting these little bugs in my face. They don't bite. They, they just want to be in my face and uh they are everywhere <laughs> outside they don't seem to be bothering you i don't know <laughs> <laughs> so we turned on a fan behind sam's head and i i use this thing you know that i turn around keep them off of my face and that seems to be helping but all new things that aren't in the brochure whenever you sign up to do the great loop bugs on the loop as we wind our way through this area, there are homes and then there are boat houses. And the boat houses actually look like a house. Now where, where we lived in Texas on the lake, the boat houses didn't really look anything like this. But all the way down, as far as I can see right now, there are boat houses all different kinds of boats. There's a couple sailboats anchoring right in front of the houses in this area. But it's so peaceful, so relaxing. Very nice area. Continuing our journey here, and we have the mainland on the starboard side, and on our port side is the um, Marquette Island. So this rather ornate house, it is called Dollar Island. And so, but it looks very inviting. 
like somebody has their own house out there, or resort, a lot of dock space out there. Dollar Island on the Le Cheneau Channel in Michigan. But boat houses and all kinds of cottages and everything along here. The channel, I haven't really seen anything less than about 10 feet here on the channel, so it's well marked. Uh, Navionics is doing a great job of uh, drawing a route, so we're following that and monitoring it very closely with the depth. But just a beautiful day out here going through the La Cheneau Islands. Well, we are about 10 minutes out from the St. Ignace Marina where we will dock and then spend three days and ferry over to Mackinac Island. I guess it's Mackinac is what I'm told. And that is the uh, Mackinac Bridge out there that connects the lower peninsula with the upper peninsula. So, beautiful day out here. We're going to be contacting the marina soon. We've tried to call them on the phone, but it's check out, check in time, and I'm sure they're busy. I've always heard that's Mackinac Island. Well, I don't know. We're gonna I've heard find so out, many different though. things, but I'm sure the locals <laughs> will take care of us as we get in here. And we'll figure it out as we go along. So we are slowed down to our normal cruising speed. We have the marina in sight up there. You can see a parasailer, and just to the uh, right of that, there's a small lighthouse. That's the entrance to the St. Ignace Marina. We've been unable to get them on the phone. I'm sure they're busy. It's and a check out time, check in time. So we'll give them a call on the radio and uh, we probably don't need assistance for tie up. It's pretty calm in there. It's, we're just gonna advise them we're gonna come in and do a uh, 180 with a port tie if that's okay with them. So uh, we'll give them a call. St. Ignis Marina, St. Ignis Marina, motor vessel here's to us, motor vessel here's to us, how copy. Jeff is on nine in a blast. St. Ignis Marina, St. Ignis Marina, motor vessel here's to us, motor vessel here's to us, channel nine. their working channel. See if that works. St. Ignis Marina, St. Ignis Marina. Motor vessel here's to us, channel 6. St. Ignis Marina, go ahead, here's to us. Yes, sir. We're coming in. We're about uh, oh, a mile out, and uh, we're going to take the uh, E-122 as our reservation. It's okay we you would just kind of swing around and do a port tie. Yeah, I'm looking for your, what's the name of the boat again? One more time, please. It's uh, Here's to Us. One moment. Did E-119, that's what they told you? Uh, negative, they told me uh, E-122, the T head there. Gotcha, let me double check. If, uh, if we're not ready, we just do a okay. maneuver out here. All right. That you're ready, so you're not rushed, okay? Okay, thank you. That's what I was uh, worried about. Because we're pretty close and I haven't put any fenders or lines out yet. St. Angus Marina caller here is to us. We do show you an E-122 for two nights and we have a package waiting for you in the harbor office. All right, uh, thank you very much, sir. Uh, is that, will that work if we come in and uh, just do a 180 and do a port tie on that, T head? 
Yeah, that's totally fine. Try to leave as much room as you can, because I'll probably have a second boat behind you. All right, so uh, yeah, we'll pull up uh, as much as we can. Is the power pedestal in the center of the uh, T-head? That's correct, it's in the center. Okay, we'll, uh, we'll be out there and uh, um, we probably don't need, uh, I know you're probably busy, if, if you can help, uh, that's fine. If not, we can work it ourselves as well. Thank you. We've got two people, including myself, on the fuel dock right now, but when I see you coming in, if I can break away, I'll ride the bike up there and give you a hand. Yeah, no worries. Uh, I know you're busy. And thanks for your help. Appreciate it. Thank you. See you soon. Okay, so uh, as we expected, they are very busy. Um, checked our reservation it's going to work out just fine so we've got a fast ferry out there in fact that'll probably be the ferry that will take over to Mackinac Island Mackinac Island whatever it is and uh, spend the day over there tomorrow so we've got it in sight looks like uh, it's going to work out just fine and we're slowed down enough that I think Rev can get out here and start preparing and we'll go through our arrival checklist well, thanks for coming along with us from our trip from our anchorage in Government Bay North in the Les Cheneaux Islands. And we really enjoyed, I hope you did too, the scenery along the way through the Les Cheneaux Channel, through the towns of Cedarville and Hessel. And we are now in our slip here. It's actually a tea head at St. Ignace Marina and we can see Mackinac Island out in the distance. We are looking forward to a couple days here, heading over there on the ferry, which is just to the south of us here. We see it coming in and out. Michigan, during the summer, has the most beautiful flowers. This is just a random sidewalk that we're walking down, getting ready to catch the ferry. But look how beautiful these flowers are. Well, once we got off the ferry ride, first thing is there are fudge shops everywhere, and it's really interesting to see them make the fudge. And another thing about uh, the island is there are horses everywhere. And you'll see some horses here as we go along. We actually took a carriage ride uh, to our dinner. There are zero cars on the island. So if you want to get around, you have to go by horse or by bicycle. Yeah, and they call it the taxi. They say, uh, right. they call the taxi, and the taxi is a horse. If you happen to have an electric bike, that's not going to work. It has to be uh, non-electric. Yeah. Well, that's the fudge, and it's everywhere, and so is horse doo-doo. <laughs> <laughs> so beware of the differences. We did take a walk up to the Grand Hotel. And it's and, 10 bucks. Yes. Well worth it per person to go in and look around uh, some of the exhibits there from the movie uh, Somewhere in Time which we had watched the night before. We wanted to be up on the uh, latest info yeah. <laughs> before we saw it. Highly recommend that movie if you have not seen it. Really? Yeah, I do. <laughs> I do recommend it. We had a chance to take a ride going to a very special restaurant part of the Grand Hotel called The Woods. Happened to be our 25th wedding anniversary. Yeah, yeah so uh, really enjoyed that, and uh, they treated us well. And then the taxi back to the Grand Hotel, and we just had to kind of get off and you know look at the ambience of the Grand Hotel since we already paid the ten dollars. We, we still had our might ticket. as well take yeah, advantage so we of it. So kind of walked around and watched all the people there. At the Grand Hotel, if you eat dinner there after a certain hour, I think it's 5.30 or 6, you have to have a tie and a jacket, yeah, so which uh, I don't own anymore. <laughs> <laughs> on the boat, that's not really boating attire. Yeah, but uh, people were enjoying that experience. And then we got back on the ferry, and really, we got the last ferry out, didn't we? We did. Yeah, we, did, we thought, there's no way we're going early in the day. There's no way we can can have all this stuff to do by leaving at nine o'clock. We thought surely we'd leave 
at seven or six or yeah, whatever. But the dinner was just so great, and uh, we just kind of prolonged the day. Got to see the sunset as the ferry took us back to St. Ignace, and then the, the company there took us on a shuttle ride back to the boat. Thanks for coming along. Thank you.